Okay, uh, what I've got here is something rather special, a Horus Heresy character series, resin miniature. So I'm not going to put them together right away. This is just me basically showing what we get here. Now, it's not a Primark, but the reason behind that is I don't really want a Primark right now because my Imperial Fists that I'm creating... As you can see here are the 405th now for those of you who don't know about the 405th they are proudly led by this guy here now let me just pull him out and this is alexis pollux now there's no other way to put it he is the crimson fist he's you know he's the he was he will become the chapter master for the crimson fists so you can basically see here he's a uh, you know just looking at the well-painted model um, the, by forge world it's you know quite a stunning looking model and i'm really really want to get my hands onto this um front and back look onto him uh interestingly it, in my head i don't know why but i always imagine that he's in terminator armor it's but he's not the the reality is he's just in the i think it's the i can't remember if it's the crusade or the iron armor um possibly mark three armor that one um and what makes it is he's de described as for being frequently very big so i think all the artwork that you see of him gives the impression of him being a huge man and I think that's where you kind of get this idea that he's in, you know, in my head, he's always worn Terminator armor. And if, now that I've actually got this, it's not, it's um, Mark III. So here's the actual model itself. Let's get this opened up and have a good look at it. I am going to do the build video, but I just want to very carefully kind of go through it and have a look inside, see what it looks like. Oh, God. Of course, just to make it difficult, we've got a hard to remove a bit of sticky tape okay here he comes so let's just have a good look here I'll just move this one out of the way now we don't have instructions on how to build him we just have a Forge World resin model guide. So let's have a look then what we see in this. So I am really excited for this model um, just purely because I, I've loved I love the story behind him to aside from anything else. And I'm having a good look at him here. Sometimes with Forge World models, um, we sometimes find a scaling issue so which is why i've actually got this imperial fist now this is our mark five no no can't be mark five can it mark six i think it is so let's have a look how he compares now with a very straight up posture his top collar is kind of you know pretty much above so this is a very upright model this one in particular so looking at that his head does come up quite high I wouldn't say he's a very very big model but what I would say is that you know you can see there his shoulders do sort of come up quite high upon him so I'm liking the look of it so far another good thing that we can have a look at is shoulder pads and as we can see, he's got these big shoulder pads. Again, Mark Three. I think he is Mark Three armor. I'll have to double check that. And then we've got obviously this lovely detailed face. Again, sometimes it's a good idea to check with the Forge World to make sure there's no missing details, or and it looks exactly as it should be, which is fantastic. So what we're going to do is we're going to. You know, I'm going to find this a very interesting build. Now, this shield is gorgeous. Look at that. The, the CDV, in, you know, embossed on it. 
I've got very, you know, I like the, the feel of it actually. It's got a very beautiful feel. So again, it, that kind of traditional shield that he carries around with him. Now, moving on from there, I've noticed a couple of things here. So he does actually have what looks like a melter weapon with a slung on the bolter. I wonder if that's attached to his fist or if it's attached to, yeah, it looks like it goes on the bottom of his fist, which is cool. So he's got the shield, a fist, and a pretty beefy weapon by the look of it. I think it does slung under here, but we'll see as I build it. Now, again, you've got your backpack. Again, let's uh, just have a look at the difference in scaling here. So you can see with the backpack, it's very wide because of the mark it is. Again, I really like that kind of armour effect. So you can't immediately tell it whether or not it's Mark II or Mark III by the backpack, unfortunately, because they use the same backpack, or I'm pretty certain they do. Now, again, let's have a look here. So we've got a nice... Um, Nice base as well, all built up. Let's have a quick look here. So I'm guessing that this will kind of slot in here like a lot of the character series do. They've got a large ornate base. You've got a Iron Warriors banner appropriately torn down, <laughs> which you know exactly what you want with him. And then we've got a couple of bases to go on that. So along with a, along with a, large base he's also got a standard space marine base okay so i think to really tell how big this guy is as a model i will have to wait to it put together but what i will do as well is i'm going to be a bit sneaky here this is going to make him look small or at least i think it's going to make him look small i've got a primaris here a dark angels primaris so Let's have a look at these two next to... Oh, my goodness. Actually... Mm, interesting. Look at that. Now, if we were to say... He's straight up. He ain't that far off. And considering the Primaris are supposed to be specifically, you know, quite large compared to your average Space Marine. So if it's hard to it's hard to actually get a perfect comparison, but you know, the Primaris are definitely taller than your average Space Marine. But this guy, just his body. Look at that, his body comes up really well. I think this guy, I think he might be the big brute. <laughs> he might be almost Primaris size. Now, if that's true, I am really, really happy about this because he's described as being big. You know, uh, I don't think he's Primark big, but he is big. So I think it's very interesting to see that going on. Now, when I paint this guy up, he's going to have this same yellow colour that I've managed to work into this. And wherever you see the black on him here, my plan is to do this more bluey purple colour because I want them to have that kind of call to the Crimson Fists, you know, because that's where they'll go in the long run. I might also do his... Um, his actual fist in crimson colour just to actually re really promote that idea. So, oh gosh, he, the, the model is beautiful. I absolutely love this thing. Um, I think, let's, you know, I, I think if I had um, something else nearby, like I had um, I had my, pro my, don't have my Primark on, display at the moment well i don't have it near me to show off but i think he is a beast i think he's actually 
I, I, I think he genuinely big, and I think I'm pleased about that. I was really worried that he, his scale just wouldn't be there. You know, that he'll just be a bit small. So I'm so pleased that he's got that size. So that's uh, probably the best way to describe this. I think right away I'm so pleased with what I'm seeing. You can you can see he's got, you know, just such a grand model. I love the base as well. It's, it's just, you know, well done. It looks very, you know... Um, very well sculpted, it looks the part. He looks like he's gonna be magnificent. He really does. I cannot wait to paint this guy up. I can't wait to build him. And and then when he's built, I am gonna compare him to a Primaris and I'm gonna compare him to a Horus Heresy Marine. I'm gonna get a good idea of, you know, the comparison between them and I'll go from there. So. That's just a quick little video introducing the model so we can have a good see before I build it. Um, I hope you've liked that little review of the, what you get in the kit. Um, and please, you know, like and subscribe. And I will catch you next time when I hopefully start building this guy.